upside down. Fun. That was fun. What's up guys? So we made it to Mount Bachelor. Just did a couple of tree runs. Snow's pretty sick today. And yeah, just gonna hit as many uh, power runs as we can today and then maybe check out the park. What do you think, Garrett? That was great. Great plan. Sick. I'm so excited. Woo! Nice one! You! I can follow you. Okay. Sorry, I didn't see that. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Oh man, these trees are good. They're really good. They're like super spaced and like the pitch is it's nice. Just nice and like mellow and enough to keep the speed going. Found like a fun little hip, side hip, you know. That was really fun. Yeah. So far, Mount Bachelor. Killing it. <laughs> Yo! Where should we go? Yo! back to the chair. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I think it will. Maybe. I heard if you don't make it back to the chair you're kind of screwed. Like in this and this is the part they said to worry about. Yeah, let's just keep following these tracks like down and to the right. <laughs> sure. Right. Sure it'll be you. good. Oh these are pretty tight. Tight tight tight. Yeah, let's do it. Tight trees. <laughs> <laughs> like nice little to it like this. Whoa. Oh here's another one coming up. Yeah. Tight. Too tight. That's perfect. Hey, what's up guys? So we just wanted to take a minute and just talk to you guys about tree wells. Um, it's a really sort of serious subject and it, and it can be really dangerous. Um, so knowing about them and what they are and how to avoid them 
and even how to get out of them is, is really important. So basically what a tree well is, is at the base of the tree, you end up getting sort of, of a hollowed out um, area because all the branches are, are shielding um, the base from the snow. So you get all these big banks of snow and then right at the bottom, you have sort of a hollowed out part where people can sort of uh, fall into or get stuck in or all kinds of stuff. So a really sort of dangerous thing that, that um, you know, like a, a trap around the mountain that you want to avoid. So what are some of the, there's a few things you can do to, first you want to definitely avoid them. So Garrett, what do you think are some of the stuff you can sort of do to avoid it? Uh, the main keys for uh, avoiding tree wells, always ride. If you're in the trees, always ride with a partner. Uh, yeah. Make sure that you don't go too far away from whoever you're riding with. And if you don't see them, call out. Uh, another thing, yeah. don't listen to music while you're in the trees because if you lose your friend and you can't hear where they're going, or if they call out uh, about an impending danger ahead, uh, that's really important. Yeah. So always be aware of your surroundings. And two, if you do see a tree well and you feel like you're gonna fall, you know, fall into it, at all costs, go in feet first. Do not go in head first. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, whenever I r ride through trees with my friends, we always like partner up. And so you're always like looking out for your partner, um, just like making noise as you ride through the trees too. Just, you know, making funny noises, calling out, you know, yelling your friend's name, just so that you guys know where each other are. And if you don't hear your friend, then that's when you can sort of, you know, maybe stop and wait for them. And just make sure that when you're riding in pairs, you, you know, you know where your, where your partner is. And yeah, that way, if anything happens, you can, you can just, you know, go help them out. I've, I've actually helped somebody out of a tree well before. Um, I saw, I saw the, I saw their board in the snow and then when I got to them, they were just kind of like struggling to push themselves up out of it. And oh, I, I, I called somebody and they just, I helped them to pull them out. Uh, so another key when you get into a tree well is when you're trying to get out, uh, do like a, a switch. It's almost like you're swimming to stay above the snow. Uh, don't try and uh, jam your foot into the snow because you're just going to keep sinking deeper and deeper and the hole keep filling in on you. So you want to kind of swim to stay up on top of the snow so that you don't get it into your airway and because uh, suffocating in snow is uh, is really dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. So just like just a quick re recap, guys, always drive with partners. Um, keep keep an eye out for them. You know, don't listen to music while you're riding through trees so that you can hear the people around you. And if for whatever reason you do find yourself close to a tree wall, do everything you can to make sure that you don't go in head first. And yeah, the whole swimming technique that Garrett talked about, trying to keep yourself up above the snow and sort of pulling the snow down below you. Um, but the most important thing is just awareness, just being aware of them, uh, know that they're there, know that it's dangerous, and then you'll take the precautions to, uh, to try to avoid them and you know don't just take our word for it too like look up more information talk to the ski patrol if you want to and just try to make yourself as aware as possible and uh yeah just be super safe sweet guys so i hope you guys are having fun at the riding you know have fun riding in trees um, just do it in the safest way possible and we'll see we'll see you guys in the next video stay in bounds kids yeah <laughs> sick mm.